Hello everyone, today's episode is about testing differences by performing Z-test using Microsoft Excel. And today's objectives are the following. So first is to determine the situation when using Z-test. And second is performing Z-test using Microsoft Excel. And what is Z-test? Well, Z-test is a parametric test that compares the means of the two independent samples. And typically, if the respondents are more than 30. So once again, please remember that the samples or the groups should be independent by nature. Generally, they are most useful when the standard deviation is known. So later in our demonstration, please take note that before we proceed to the Z-test, we have to make sure that the standard deviation is computed. So in our demonstration, we'll be testing this hypothesis. Is there a significant difference between the math grades of male and female students and the data set is applicable and available in the description below. So let's do this. So once you open the data set, in column A, you can see the math grade of the male students and in column B, the math grades of the female students. And note that there are 207 male students and 224 female students. And we can continue, we can proceed in performing the C-test, regardless the uh, unequal number of sample size. But it's highly encouraged that during data collection as much as possible, you have to make the sample size between the two independent groups equal. So before we start, please remember that we have to do these three things. So first is to install the data analysis tool pack. Second is to determine the variance of the data sets and to perform the Z-test. So the data analysis tool pack can be found under data tab here. And under the analysis group, you have the data analysis. Just in case you don't have that in your Microsoft Excel, please go to file. Then under file, go to options here in the lower portion. Then click option. Then go to add-ins there. And in manage, click go there. So normally, if you don't have the data analysis tool pack, it's unchecked. So in my case, it's checked because I have it in my Microsoft Excel. Just in case you don't have it, just check this box and click OK. So now, the next thing that we have to do is to determine the variance of the two independent sets. And to do that, all you have to do is go to data, then click data set, a data analysis rather. Under data analysis, go to uh, F test, two sample of variances there. So click that and click OK. So under the variable one, we have to put the first group. So Let's highlight all the data under column A. So click the first cell, then in your keyboard, press Control shift arrow down to highlight all the data under that column. So we have up to 208 rows, so 207 respondents. Then under variable 2 range, this one here in our dialog box, click the data under column B, start with female math read. Uh, label, then press Control Shift, arrow down in your keyboard, there. Then check the labels, that is to indicate that the first row are actually labels. Then choose Alpha Point Certified, and for the output options, we have three options here. So first is the output range, that is if you want to generate the result of this test within the worksheet but if you want that in the other worksheet then just click new worksheet but if you want another excel file just choose new workbook so in this demonstration i'll be choosing output range and just click this field and choose any cell where you want to start generating the result and i'm choosing d8 there and press ok so this is the result of the two sample for variances, F test two sample for variances. And we are interested with this result. 
So there. So this is the variance for the male math grade, and this is the variance for the female math grades. So once since that we have this information, the next thing we have to do is to perform the z-test. So to do that, go to data, go to data analysis. There. Then look for z-test. It's actually in the lower portion of this dialog box. You only have one z-test here for two sample for means. Then click that. Press OK. So here we have a lot of things to fill. So first is the variable one range. That's actually the data for the male map range. So select that. Then for the variable two range, that's the data for the female math grade. So again, control shift arrow down. Then for the hypothesis mean difference, let's choose zero. That is to test whether there's a significant difference between the math grade of male and female. If you don't put zero, that's understood to be zero. So either you put zero or not, it's the same. So in this case, let's put zero. Next is for the variable one variance. Actually, I cannot select this cell, so all I have to do is to type it. So the variable one variance is the variance of the data set for male math grade. So let's type it 45.5325031. Then for the variable two, variance of the variable two, it's 91.09070056. There. Check the labels. And for the output, Put options. By the way, for the alpha, choose 0.05. Then for the output range, let's put that in within this worksheet. So I'm choosing this cell there. Then after that, press OK or click OK. And here is the result of the Z test to sample names, where you may have the this information to analyze our, or to answer our question, whether there's a significant difference between the math grades of a male and female. So let's have that in our next video. Thank you for watching.